other day here at Barstool Radio. We're talking Mean Girls. Yeah, so I talked to Alex today, so uh, they're yeah, done. Yeah, oh, they're done? Yeah. Fire. Do you believe in dinosaurs, or do you think they were methodical creatures? Tyrannosaurus rexes were the ones that flew, right? I made the conscious decision to stop washing my hands. They didn't used to wash them back way back in the day, and there was less diseases. Alex mm -hmm. Bennett, Mean Girl number one. I think it was the most blunt call out, I think, in Barstool history. They're dead now, so what are they going to do? All right, babe. That big bear just going through our snacks. There's our Walmart. Oh, I'm sorry, there's one of our Walmarts. Yeah, yeah, that's where Brandon got his first blowjob from his best friend, Gus. His name is Ned. Ned. Yeah, that's where Brandon saw his dog get hit by a bus <laughs> that he was in. That part is a true story <laughs> that Brandon just didn't tell us for five years. Your mom is a Your bad. mom's gonna be at the show today, right, yeah. Brandon? His mom is an absolute legend. And nobody shits on Brandon Walker more than Brandon Walker's own mother. It's incredible. Feel free to use this if you whatever you need. If you want to stay here, you can pull it off. Everything's cold. I like you more than my son, too. <laughs> what do you want to know about him? I'll tell you. I, I can't believe he tell you and behave around me when he's the one who's behaving. Yeah, behave around Dave. <laughs> I grew up in Mississippi, but I moved to Alabama when I was in high school. Got it. That explains a lot. So I, I a was, winner versus a loser. A friend of mine started, invited me to games, and that's how I became the Alabama fan. And I'm the Alabama fan. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, Alex yeah. Walker, good to see you. I told you, you met her before, Dave. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, told, I saw your tweet. I told you to hear it, too. I, 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 she was well, please. Did you invite her to? Yeah, she's, she's, yeah, she's as long as she'd like to stay. She's well. We'd rather you sit outside. That's, that seems to have been wrong so far. But I didn't. What are you doing? I'm gonna take a picture. Why? Because I want to. Dave is my guy. 100%. I like your mom. No joke. A lot more than I know. You like everybody. You like my son more. Oh yeah, Tommy Walker. Tommy Walker. He's a kid. Yeah. Oh, well, he's a kid. Yeah, no idea. Tommy Walker's gonna be one of Barstool's biggest We're earners about in like five years. Yes, my about Uncle Big Cat is the man. Oh yeah, I got him. Listen, I'll I'll put him under my wing. No, you quit. You quit. You no, just, I said you came I came back 15 seconds. Later. I inquired about quitting. I didn't quit. Said, right, yeah, Tommy Walker already has a YouTube channel. He's. I mean, we're gonna have a tough negotiation with him when he turns 18. He's gonna get paid more than his dad. <laughs> That'd be great. I mean, that would be Tommy Walker to be like, I want one more dollar than my dad. <laughs> what up? Abby. That was a flight. Good. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm going to swear so much in this fucking suite, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only thing they said, they just don't like GD. That's it. So that's the what? only one. They don't like God, God damn it. That's oh, you should have told me that. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Jesus. I was going, well, they, didn't have, they have people cursing there. It's oh, fine. But it's so sorry. I know. It's just like, it's, it's, it's the Bible Belt. So that's, yeah. that's, that's the only it's thing. Like, Motherfucking. Maybe it's maybe sporadic, sporadically, maybe, maybe so but goddamn, it's all <laughs> I'm God trying damn. to think if that's in my repertoire. I feel like it it's is. not. Goddamn. I hope I, I just. Oh that. yes, it's in yours. That, no, I hope I didn't add it. it is. It's one hundred percent in. You're a goddamn. God damn it. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do think that is in my repertoire. Hey, Willie. What's, What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming over. Hey, yeah. Dave, what's up, man? Nice to meet you. Look at that ring. Good to meet you, Dan. I already got a bunch of the rings on. Dan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet y'all, man. I love it. I love it. How you feeling about the game tonight? 
Oh, the game is going to be great. Alabama's going to kick some booty. It's going to be on, ain't it, Willie? Uh, but I switched on them. I thought it was going to 28 to 7, the final score. Oh, we need oh, more than that. Than I well, I figured Alabama would win by 21. Okay, all right. So then maybe let's go like 42-21. Uh, 42-21. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. all I'm asking for. And yeah. they love us up here in T-Town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why we want uh, We've been doing videos and pictures all morning. Good. Good. I know they love you. That's why we want you on the show. And I don't give a piss about nothing but the time. <laughs> <laughs> I picked him up this morning at like 7 o'clock, and I said, Willie, how you doing? He come out with a beer, and he said, I'm ready to go. I said, that's what I'm talking about. I love it. I love it. I can't wait. We, we would have, we would have had the same conversation a hundred times over. Oh, yeah. You tried to change the subject to tennis, and all it just came right back to us. Like, I'm just excited to be here. I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. How many times in your life do you think you've said the phrase "roll tide"? Uh, probably about 20 billion times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm performing. I think it's like nine queens. It's hard to get nine queens at the same place at the same time. Do you have a favorite of queens? Mm -hmm. Favorites of the queens. Come yeah, are these all people you know, Bunny? I know like half of them probably. Uh, I think there's nine coming and I know like five or six of them. I've never, I've never hosted a pageant before, so I gotta be full Seacrest. Push it in hard. Full crest. <laughs> Stone, you never go full crest. <laughs> Can't not go full crest, but a guy go full crest. Tommy, we need you. We, we need you. Okay. Something you can win. Shocker. <laughs> who who was in it? Me, Plumber, Dubes, Dana, and then you. Nate said no. Yeah. Come on, do the OnlyFans patch. Patches. Why? There's nine of you now. Come on. There will be nine people. Smokes just hopped in. John Rich, you want to be in an OnlyFans pageant? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Right, there we go. That's the people we want. So we're like coaching them up. Yeah. So yeah. Like you're, you're like a team. Like so dancing that, with the stars. Yes. yes. I'll be honest, I originally said no because I, I thought that this was a pageant of the women. I said I will not be judging a bunch of random OnlyFans women that come in here. But we're judging the men in the office, which I have no problem doing. To be clear, it's about their team. No, I know they're a team, but it's really like, they're like a coach, you know? Meek already told me that he recognized one of the girls. Asked her what he what, what she did. He said cosplay. Never felt more uncomfortable in my life. He, know, he knows. He's a subscriber. <laughs> I think he knows her as a... As a <laughs> a stretch. He chats with her. Wait, what? Meek's probably like, oh, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> she gave me the girlfriend experience. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Guarantee you, Roan told them to not pick me. You're just saying that's a good yeah, exactly. story. That's good to get ahead of the story. That's, nope. that's what happened. Tommy Wait, if I don't get caught, Trump make sure you go that, back yeah. to this. Somebody You're literally Trump. You'll get picked as like, oh, this is funny. Look at him. Meek. Like, like, they're, like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> And Tommy's probably gonna win in the end somehow, like he always does. No, he won't. I, again, it's been set up against me. <laughs> Before we even start, I'd like to say, I'm pretty sure this has been set up against me. Aren't you engaged? That's what I said. This is not, this is not what that is. Frank, you yeah. tell I said uh, that Dana might be in legit trouble when he goes home. Did he, did he <laughs> ask permission to do this? Hey, he said he shook his hand. Sounds like he's asking for I think he might so be in trouble. Frank did the good thing. He didn't even look at them. Play hard to get. Like, play hard to get. If you want me, come and get me. He yeah. knows he's the most eligible yeah. bachelor he's, here. He's the, he knows his yeah. worth. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Know your value, know your worth. Yeah. Another day here at Barstow Radio, we're talking Mean Girls. We invited them to judge the uh, OnlyFans pageant we had yesterday which would have been perfect for them to be in and poof, just ghosted on us. Yeah, so I talked to Alex today about that because I caught wind of it because I asked if they're in the office. She said she was sick, uh, not really an excuse to knock it back to you. So uh, they're yeah, done. Yeah, oh, they're done? Yeah. Fired. <laughs> you mean girls are done? Are they really? Yeah. What happened? 
Did the media finally catch up with them? It just yeah. Yeah. When? I don't know, just now, they just said it. What did he say? I feel like he thought that was a lie. He said that they ditched the only hands thing yesterday, and he found out, and he, they, didn't, they didn't tell anybody, and I guess Alice's contract's been up, Jordan's is up in two weeks, they called Alice, and she was just like, I get it, and now that's that. <laughs> um, uh, I gotta talk to Jordan still, I, I did text her. I talked to Alex, and uh, again, I was pretty blunt, I was like, she said she didn't feel well. The fact they didn't even get back to Kevin about it really bothered me. I, the last conversation I had with them, I said, if you're gonna do Barstool, you gotta do it and come in and be a part of shit. When people were saying, come to the office, they were like, well, when we did come to the office, everybody shit on us. And that me, when they said that to me, I was like, I think these girls are checked out. In light of everything we just went through with like the layoffs and it's, you know, it's tough to keep Two people who seemingly have no interest in being here. Right. Breaking news on Barstool Radio. Uh, mean Girls are done at Barstool. Uh, pseudo firing, more of a we're not going to renew your contracts that have just expired. But I also think uh, it was the last straw, whether they had contracts expiring or not. Blowing off the pageant, I think, was after all the speeches, after all the second tries, after all the encouragement and going to bat to not show up and then not even not even text back or even give, a, give an excuse. You know, there's only so many times you can try. More <laughs> airtime for smokes, baby. <laughs> I think Tommy, you're going to do on the show now. You got nothing to talk about. He said it too. So like, a Lord tears Achilles every day, because I don't know what the fuck we talk about now. <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah, it's tough. We need, we need new mean girls to rise up. Yeah, who, who, who are we going to bully now? You, you better get those the bottles. Ready, dude. <laughs> uh, news just broke. Dave just said. Mean Girls have been uh, let go. I don't. I don't, I don't know. It what? sounds like they. Were oh yeah. Oh, you were breaking this. Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay, so Kyle, buckle up, buddy. Mean Girls. It's. I would say it's a mutual uncoupling. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, and I think it was awkward because I think Jordan might have been in the office today and didn't know this. I heard that, and then he <laughs> said it out loud. Yeah. And she was what do you mean sitting. she didn't yeah, know Yeah, see, this. that's where it gets blurry. Right? Really? Well, Jordan's just in our studio. In our studio? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I did. They asked to do a VO today, and I said, I was like, oh, yeah, of course. She, nothing well, I'm else. not going in there until someone tells her. That's, I said, I'm going home. <laughs> Does she know? The way Dave made it seem is like, he did say she, she, he know. still has to talk to Jordan. No, she has to know. I mean, I don't know if she followed Viva the story. Oh, no, this is crazy. Who am I going to do? We might have broken another retirement to somebody online or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. He, he said I haven't talked to Jordan, but he talks to him, so. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I never yeah. more trouble in my life. Me and Trevor are <laughs> looking for a quiet room. You know, it's like, what better empty place than so she just, like, recording something right now? She was doing a VO in there, but that was at 12.30 it was supposed to be. I did see Brian in there when well, Dave was announced. What? He was what? doing the... What did you say when you called him? I couldn't have closed the door quicker! <laughs> <laughs> You guys want to say when you see a messy room, I'm like, oh, I'm not looking that up. Do you think she can get sent back to the farm? I don't know. That's a tough thing. I think she wants to go back to the farm. I don't know if the, this big city's too tough. You never know. know. Do you think that you were single-handedly the, the reason that they lost their jobs because you bullied them out of here? <laughs> you know, it's it's something that I'm going to have to consider moving forward if uh, the power that I hold. Well, I know. I said I now that you're a president, well, it's, 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 it's right on yeah. trend for, for, for a political party. It is true. To, <laughs> to, push, to, push, to push out, out the weak. I don't have much to say. Right. I'm a little sh shocked, a little confused. Joey's already gone through their top drawer in their desk and he's found some things. I got this. So there was a significant drop off after Keeks was. Oh, Keeks murdered it. Yeah. yeah. She ruined it. You killed like, them. Like, I killed them for sure. But I, but I also, like, I wish that they talked to me. Like, they refused to talk to me. I texted them. I tried to talk to them in person. I briefly you, talked do you to them. Do you and Minahan, what is your relationship now? We, we they're best friends. We you, I mean, you're basically our Kirk. Yeah. And you seem to like kind of be like, oh, they're gone. That's what Kirk does when he runs someone out. He's like, all right, he's gone. Yeah. Next. Well, I don't think <laughs> they're crying. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think, yeah, who's the next target? I don't think they're crying about it because if they wanted to stay, they would have stayed. Like, uh, and you always talk about, like, Alex just wanted to be here for so long, whatever, blah, blah. If she wanted to be here so long, she'd still be here. No. It makes my life much easier as, yeah. like, the person who has to hire talent to have the other talent running the talent we hire <laughs> out of here. When they were in the office, they were doing much better. And then Keegs made it impossible for them to come in the office. Keegs uh, killed them. He, you actually I just, I just don't, I don't, killed a potentially well, very successful <laughs> <laughs> People are afraid It was of going like this, and then Kelly killed him, and it went like that. Yeah. So.
six months later when no one has ever been mean to them to their face, no one, even after I wrote that blog, you went up to them and said, I think it was a little harsh by Kelly. <laughs> I was laughing at yes, you, I watch did. Clemmer yeah. talk, I was expecting. People, are, people went up to them and said, Kelly was too mean. The girls, all the girls texted them. Bria, Fran, Bree, Grace, Good. all of them said, hey, I, like, I understand, whatever. And they all told me, they said, hey, listen, I talked to the girls and said, I totally understand, that's fine. Th that's fine, I'm not trying to alienate them from this office. Everyone talked to them. Well, they're dead now. <laughs> you get, you, they're, they're dead bodies, so. They no, are you dead can't bodies. be friends with dead people. So. And that's fine, but I, but I refuse to say that I am the reason that they couldn't come to work for six months. That's fucking bullshit. You know that's bullshit. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy that. That is correct. You're only you, the reason their the show took a drastic they're... downturn in numbers. Yes. There, it, there was you a, might not be the reason they come to the office, there, but you are the reason their show stopped had a growth. The downturn that coincided with Kelly's blog. You don't work here, they're still Facts. That's 100% a fact. If people couldn't hear that, Dave said, if Kelly doesn't work here, Mean Girl's still. If that blog is never written, nothing uh, ever happens. Well, they're dead now, so what are we going to do? All right, Dave. Uh, Monday show, he didn't uh, say that. Uh, uh, he didn't uh, say that. Rudy Gobert. He said he's got <laughs> options to have a long career, worst case. Uh, what do you think? The, what's the ceiling? Though? Ceiling? There's no ceiling. You, no, one, no one's seen him. Exactly. All right. He don't know ball. That's the problem. No, no, no. He's here to make this happen. Not to talk he, about he, he doesn't, he doesn't get it. He never has gotten it. He's dumb as a door. That's not nice to say. He said much worse. <laughs> he, well, but I've done much worse. Accountability. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. As it works. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I feel like he has a Phil and Phil and Kobe did have a bunch of rings. Oh, so who's Phil? <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Who's so going? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Up and coming, discovered oh. me from, took a chance on me early. You're Kobe. Recipe's Kobe, man. Yes. Recipe's Kobe. Recipe's Kobe. Recipe's Kobe. Recipe's Kobe. Recipe's Kobe. Recipe's Kobe. Love that. We gotta get him out uh, doing one of like Frankie's videos. Partial golf. Like yeah. You have to get Tommy Smoke out of his skin. How do we do that? Out of what? He's, he's like Tommy doesn't talk on Barstool Radio. He's like, he says he says it, it disappoints him. He's too scared. He's scared, Dave. Yeah, he's scared. He's scared, Dave. You have to get in a room with him, like be a therapist for him, and find out what's happening. That's a great idea. Yeah, hey. Did you know that Thomas Smokes exclusively dates women over 6'4"? <laughs> like, if you ask any one of the Jersey Shores, as he long as she's blonde. No, he can't. You physically can't. They're uh, gender yeah. 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 Look through the Jersey Shores, just like the census of women over 6'4", they probably yeah. hooked up with Tommy Smokes. How many of those women are available? Rebecca Lobo is his dream girl. Yes, like when literally, When you go yes. to concerts, he sits yeah. on their shoulders. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fights, Pat, KFC, all. That's not true. That, that's all incorrect. Way more than you. No, it, it, it I is. Disagree. And I've been telling you this. And then he not, he independently not, noticed the exact same it's thing. It's not that they I told you. It's not that they. No. no. Look at the text, text, watch the text. text. It's, so. <laughs> it's not that they talk more than you. Smokes isn't talking. WTF? Telling us every other day. It's sad. Waste of talent. It's not that they're talking. You're talking. Obviously, yes, you're talking. But you're not being you. You're not being you. That's what it is. It's not the. It's player. a different show though. It, no, but it's not it's a different you. Yeah, still I you. get on any show and I'm the same at this. Right. My pod here. If I go to basketball court, if I'm in an argument with my friend over cars, I'm the same motherfucker. Don't fucking damn your light for anybody, bro. You are a fucking. Star. Where do you think? <laughs> top three easy. Yeah, but, uh, oh, top three easy. Remember, you wonder if I was gonna put up more play numbers. I was just, you know, I was wondering if he had the juice. Well, he also, if you see more of Frankie, you probably will put Frankie Frankie's uh, above, well. above Tommy. Frankie's uh, I would probably put He golfs, he fucking Tommy. makes pizzas. One of the more boring dudes we got. Uh, that's okay. That's no, he's, no, but seriously, he does know. You're not here to be a one thing. We're not here to put you as a, 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 a shooter in the corner. We want you to be everything. Yeah. You want me to fucking take them all? Take the rock? I want you to, at times, yes, yes. I at times, that. I want you to be Steve Nash. And at times, I want you to be Dennis Rodman. And at times, I want you to be Rudy fucking Gobert. Get that shit up out of here. At times, it's a different role for everything. Did you watch? For sure. I, I said it on radio. This is the best Jets team on paper in my lifetime. And I'm just so battered and beaten by the last, like, 15 years here at Barstool. And, like, just the entire existence of a Mets, Jets, Knicks fan that I still can't and won't let myself get. I think I would be excited if he, if Aaron Rodgers, uh, this is just not obvious, but like, if he was a young quarterback and I knew we had a long time yeah, and a big window, window short. but the fact that it's such a short window, it's just like you have to win the Super Bowl right now, it just doesn't feel likely. It just doesn't feel like it's gonna happen. I am Aaron Rodgers' number one fan. He is a motivated 
Aaron Rodgers. I think he wants to do what Brett Favre couldn't. My only concern is while he is that right now. Oh, he's got the American, oh, he's got the American flag. flag. We're winning the Super Bowl. We're winning the Super Bowl. That's it. That's it. This is it. What a moment. What a moment. Yes. Yes. What a moment. Yes. Yes. Wow. No, this, is, this is some literal Super Bowl Captain America moment right here. Yes. 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 Wow. This is some literal Captain America shit right now. Holy, look at this spotlight on him. There hasn't been a better. Bro, this is one of the greatest moments in American history. The last time I was this excited to start a season was the year after they made the AFC Championship game against the Broncos. Testa Verde in the first quarterback game goes back, blows the Cody's out. These 100% lose. No. I do not lose this. There way. is no, no way. Wait, what do you mean? No, he's, he was, you no, he's doing that to, to he, he's doing he's that okay. to like slow down the game. Let no, the, he's hurt. He would not be sitting on the ground. No, no. Sucking down. No, he got, look, his foot got stepped on. Oh my, no! Oh my god. Yo, I'm telling you, that guy, he just tore his Achilles or something. He this is unbelievable. Drugs, no fucking wood. This is the most. But is it? But no it's, it's, it's not. You're right. It's you're right. It's the most no fucking. But this is why I don't do it. Fuck! This is why I don't do it. There's no way. Bro, I, no this way. is why I don't do it. It doesn't matter about the chance. Something so, always goes wrong. Bad things happen. We need to know how And they always will. They always fucking will. Oh, I think mean, he, he probably gets sprained an ankle. I, I, I'm not gonna believe you. Think you think Aaron Rodgers is gonna come out of the game and be just a sprained ankle? He's hurt, bro. You ever sprain your ankle? It hurts. Yeah, he would not come out of the game right now. He knows. No, that's no, this may be it for me for sports. This may be it. <laughs> this is uh, the Mets this bro, season I, combined. I, I, I know you've been going through it much longer than me, but this may be it. I can't. I try so hard to not get excited so that I don't get my hopes up so that I can't be crushed, but then I get crushed eight. I just want to be happy. Though. I just want to enjoy fucking football. I, I, I just want to enjoy my team on a football Sunday. I want, I just want um, 12 years. I swear it's, to God, it's not like, like the out, singer out, on Broadway can blow out their knee and you cry about it. It's just like, no, you just watch the show and enjoy yourself. I will cut that mannequin's head off. And the Jets finally have a quarterback, and he's dead. He's dead. He's still in the, the, the tent. He's like a fucking horse. They gotta How put do him down. You had a little hope. You never have hope. No, I did. You no. never have hope. No, you you're an hope. idiot. I, I saw your eyes. I, I saw your eyes. I, I didn't have hope until he ran out with the flag. <laughs> How am I supposed to not have hope after you he ran out with the flag oh. on 9 11? Ah, no. Hard out. No. No. No, that's not funny. That's it's not, not funny. funny. That's not down. funny, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know what, Marty? Fuck you, first of all. Yeah, yeah. You guys second, of all you guys second of all, as much as I didn't let myself get my hopes up because of this kind of shit, but so many fucking people did, and they have the right to, because they have a fucking amazing defense, they've got new young weapons everywhere, and then you what go is, get a Hall of Fame. Why? 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 Why though? Why did he do that? How are you the owner of the Jets and you think, oh, it'll be okay if I wear a dumb fucking platinum chain? That is of course life. you're gonna That's be made fun of instantly. Not I'm not gonna wear that. Oh, no! No, 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 it's okay. No. He got up and he got on his own. He needed, he needed, this is awful. No! There's no okay. It is okay. No! He, that's not the worst thing. Dude, just because he, he got he hopped, the cart He hopped himself. in the cart. I, well, what do you expect? to be dead? I'm, I'm not gonna, it's like, I'm oh, not I got in the ambulance by myself. No, I don't know. Kill this no, I'm not, I'm not doing that yet until I get a report. I'm not doing it yet. Get his ass! Or these fucking Patriots fans are texting me, hell of a season. Go fuck yourself! <laughs> <laughs> it, it's I'm the most this. believable, not... no. unbelievable thing ever. Big people can I, be I like, I, I can't believe I this. And I'm like, you really can't? Let's... Is it that far-fetched that of course he... Let's I mean, be that, logical. That is... Let's be logical for a second. He didn't show anything too serious to the knee at the end. He hot, he got in the car himself. This could be a two or three week injury. Uh, I'm not... This is horrible. I'm just not going to like nail the coffin down. I mean, that, that moment right there. Yeah, right there. That is heartbreaking. That's, that is heartbreaking. Yeah, because that was like, I'll try to walk off. No yeah. way that can. Like I mean, it, it could be like just this. Look at this camera. This is for sure. This is great. It's like, it's like watching Kenny Tent pop off. It's fucking awful. I just, I just literally, I, I felt it in my bones all off season. So many people got so excited and it got so overhyped. And I was just like, don't get ahead of yourself. And then I swear to God, that fucking flag. I saw that fucking flag and that light that's reflecting off the green helmet. And he's like, 
I was like, holy shit, this guy already has a New York sports moment. And then he had a New York Jets moment like 25 seconds later. If it wasn't for the fucking flag, I would have just been like, I knew it, I knew it. This is, I'm not even, I told you guys, I told you it was gonna happen. But the flag sucked me in. The pageantry, I'm a sucker for pageantry. You watched it, you yeah. watched me flip. Yeah. And I mean, I don't wanna, I can't abandon my boys, but I can't just sit here and watch Zach Wilson football until fucking 12 at night. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst, dude. You're, I almost didn't come in because no. I was like, I know Tommy's gonna Seriously, be there. Seriously, no, I'm, I'm happy. I know Tommy's gonna say something about this. It's a yeah, I, yeah. I knew it. I put it on, I was like, Tommy's gonna say something about this. No, it's gonna be backhanded. I've had a feeling you might be gay for a while, and I, I'm proud of you. You look like shit. Oh, oh wearing a company shirt? Oh. <laughs> no, That's a company this shirt. It's a charity yeah. shirt. It's for a girl. Oh. But it's, it's just for a girl. No, I love the shirt. It's a charity shirt. We raise money. Yeah, I love that, I love that shirt. I love that shirt. I'm, I'm gonna buy it for my mom. My birthday's coming up.